Is this cool or what? You bet it is. And you know, there's one car company that would really like to have a bit of cool in its image, and that is Cadillac. Despite building some of the best luxury and sports sedans on this planet, it still has an image of father or maybe even my grandfather's Cadillac. Well, this week, Cadillac has invited automotive journalists from around the globe to check out a new caddy. And these choppers are going to take us into the California desert to drive them. Like I said, cool. Oh, I almost forgot. The new caddy is called the CT6. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cadillac Touring 6. It was great to release it in New York, but this car is all about a driving car and the quicker we can get people like yourselves into the car and experience it for themselves, this is for me very rewarding, very thrilling, so this is the most exciting thing for us. It's the next step in our elevation of the brand and uh, you just mentioned this year we started with ATSV and CTSV and now this is the top of the range of our, for our Cadillac, a luxury sedan, so we are returning to the prestige segment that we haven't been in for quite a while and this is we build the cars that are nimble, quick and fun to drive. So whilst this is a car that has the extra exterior dimensions of let's say for example a 7 series short wheelbase or an S class and the luxury and comfort you would expect what sets it really apart is that it has the weight of the CTS a significantly smaller car which in its segment is already much lighter than say a 5 series or an E class Oh, I love the side view, I think it's got a great stance, but I've got to say, seeing it in the rear vision mirror coming around a corner behind you, seeing the vertical uh, signature lighting and the indirect fire LEDs, the car looks fantastic. We wanted to evolve the Cadillac face, but we still wanted it to be recognisable as a Cadillac, and I think those light signature elements do that. We have a 3.6 litre naturally aspirated. We also then have a 2 litre turbo. Uh, this is a 265 horsepower engine. Cadillac sales in 2015 were up globally thanks to cars like the CTS and the ATS. So you wonder why do they need the larger CT6? One word, China. China is a, a large market for us globally, obviously, uh, for Cadillac, uh, and it's, uh, I believe, the second in the world right now. Uh, Canada follows up very closely with uh, being the third largest Cadillac market in the world. Even this program here today, uh, you know, we have about 15 journalists from China driving the cars. We have about 20 from Canada uh, and, and a bunch from the U.S. and some other journalists coming from around the world. Oh, I think the most the, the customer is younger. Cadillac has increased more than 35 percent increase on its market. The people, so I, I think the customer family this brand, uh, more and more the customers uh, family, family this brand. Especially for the CT6, I think maybe they, uh, from the technology, uh, from with the culture, maybe in the future they can make a big increase in the future. Now even General Motors will admit that the Achilles heel of the Cadillac has been the Q system. It just hasn't been intuitive. It has improved, including this generation. In fact, like Lexus, they've actually added a touchpad. Now they've got a world's first on this new vehicle. In the back, we have two cameras. One is the backup camera. The other one is for, and you ready for this, the rear view mirror. Have a look at the difference. And Cadillac says visibility is improved by almost 300%. That is impressive. Nice interior in the back, the seats recline, you've got a massage, and the audio system is Bose. Are you ready for this? 34 speakers, and believe me, it's one of the best systems I've ever experienced. You are from Germany. I am. The competition is from Germany. Yes. Should they be worried? Uh, no, no, no. I will not caddy, turn Cadillac into a German brand. On the contrary, um, Cadillac's marketing activities in the past um, were slightly 
and dare I say flawed, because the engineers realized how good the Germans were and said we need to build cars that are on eye level with them, no, that need to be even better with them. And that was absolutely true. But then people without imagination and fantasy in marketing and in our agencies thought that they also should communicate Cadillac as if it was a German car. So it is the German in the room that needs to remind my American colleagues all the time we are not German and it is a good thing. Vehicles like the CT6 are known as flagship cars, cars that get lots of attention in the showroom and on the street but are not considered sales leaders. In the United States, for example, they sell around 170,000 Cadillacs, in Canada just over 12,000, which was the best year yet in 2015. But as I mentioned earlier, it's all about China. That market continues to grow rapidly. Last year, they sold 80,000 Cadillacs. I like this vehicle. My engine choice though would be the new 3 liter twin turbo. And yes, it's larger than the ATS or CTS, but you know it's a thousand pounds lighter than the S-Class. And you know this vehicle is really another example of the direction Cadillac continues to go in and another reason why the Germans are a bit nervous.